Hi everyone, I'm Daryl and welcome to Hype Word. Today I'm going to be looking at how The Man in the High Castle book can help us explain the ending to the TV show. For those who need reminding, The Man in the High Castle is based on the novel by Philip K. Dick. It's set in an alternate reality where the Allies lose the Second World War and Nazi Germany and Japan rise to power. It follows the rise of an American resistance group in the Nazi-controlled US East Coast. America has been divided up into Japanese-controlled Pacific States of America and the German-controlled eastern portion of the country, as well as a narrow independent buffer zone between the two. The resistance has been bolstered by a seeming window into another universe, one where the Allies won the war and the Nazis lost. In the book, this window takes the form of a book called The Grasshopper Lies Heavy, and in the TV show, this takes the form of a film reel both depicting details of alt worlds. There are a number of different characters that both appear in the TV show and the book, and a number of different themes that do the same, although in the book you'll find that the themes are more complex, which for whatever reason it was decided wouldn't translate well onto TV. One of the main protagonists, Juliana, in both the book and the TV show, finds herself embroiled in the main conflict. In the TV show, she takes on more of a hero trope, actively working against the occupation of the US. In the book, however, she takes on less of a hero trope and more of an observer, but nonetheless finds herself drawn into the book depicting another universe. So she goes in search of the author of the book, and in the TV show, the maker of the films, a man called Hawthorne Abinson, also known as the man in the high castle. For more similarities and differences between the book and the TV show, I'll leave a link to my video here which explores this a bit further. So let's recap on how the TV show ended. The Nazis have discovered the alt worlds and have been exploring and experimenting traveling to these through a machine portal that looks pretty much like a tunnel. Events have unfolded that caused Japan to retreat from the American West and as a result the Nazis have planned to invade, unifying America once more only this time under the Nazi banner. This plan, however, doesn't come to fruition because the man at the helm of the invasion, Reichsführer John Smith, is killed. <gasps> we know that the second in command is a man who was in favor of reforming America back to a pre-Nazi state. And because of this, the invasion is halted. We can therefore assume America will be at peace, at least until inevitably the European Reich invade again. As this happens, Juliana heads to the Alt World Tunnel, which has been powering up on its own for ominous reasons. Suddenly, with a flash of light, people begin emerging through the portal from another world, or worlds. The man in the high castle himself, Hawthorne Abinson, heads off into the portal and disappears. Obviously, this ending has left a lot of people like, huh? Wait, what? But what does it mean? Showrunner David Scarper agreed the ending was supposed to be ambiguous in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. The identity of the people walking from the portal is unimportant to the overall ending and the show's theme, according to Scarper, who said, This is very much in the Philip K. Dick tradition. Every answer only leads to more questions. Regarding the people coming through the portal, he said, Part of the intention was to invite the audience to have their own interpretation of what they're seeing on the screen. He did, however, reveal one thing. The portal will stay open and will act as a bridge between worlds, allowing people to travel freely from this world to the next. As Scarpa said, apparently it's up to us to make up our own mind. So for those of you out there that need finality and perhaps need to switch the light on and off 20 times before you leave a room, let's take a look at how the book could help us draw a potentially satisfying conclusion to this. The book ends with Juliana discovering that the grasshopper lies heavy depicts a world that is real. However, it isn't our world, the world that you and I live in. It's a world where the allies won the war, yes, but it's also a world that's ruled by Great Britain. Juliana tells the book's author, Hawthorne, that he has channeled the true reality through his writing, a reality where Germany and Japan lost the war. It could be argued that as the book ends, the characters are on the verge of realizing that they themselves are fictional. So the ending is not a conventional conclusion of the story. The reader is taken beyond the story itself, as though the boundaries between these worlds have dissolved. 
So if we look at the recurring theme emerging through the book and the TV show, we can see that the merging of realities is one, as well as the disbelief in one's own reality. And combine this with Dick's ability to go beyond the story itself and let the reader draw their own conclusions, you could potentially argue that people are coming through the tunnel is actually symbolic of the realization that one's own reality is not the only reality. You might also argue that the people coming through the portal are the Hawthorne Abinsons of their own worlds, coming through their own portals the way Abinson went through his. We could suspect Abinson went through the tunnel looking for a world where his wife is still alive and that the people coming through have their own reasons for seeking out a new world. Are they the men in the high castle in their own respective worlds with their own stories and experiences? This would link to Dick's ending in the book where we realise that there are infinite worlds and that that is actually the real story. The ending itself is irrelevant because every ending that could ever be perceived has happened somewhere in one of these alt worlds. But these are just a few of my thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys think of it, so let me know in the comment section. So that's it for this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. We talk about all things sci-fi, fantasy and sometimes horror here, so if that's your thing, please stick around. Until next time guys, happy reading.